Hello, I am Balraj. Welcome to today's class. So today I will discuss with you three questions that were asked by UPSC in the civil service prelims exam pertaining to the location of equator. So let us look at the questions. So look at this question from the year 2006. So in this question you have to figure out from which of the following countries the equator passes. Now look at this question from the year 2008. In this question you have to figure out which one of the given places is closest to the equator. And look at this question from the year 1997 in which you have to figure out which continent occupies the largest area in the equatorial belt. So I will first give you a general overview of from where the equator passes and then I will give you memory tricks to memorize each and every location. So first let us have a general overview of the 13 countries from where the equator passes. So let us start from South America. So here it passes through three countries. And I will tell you the names a little later. Now let's go to Africa. Here it passes through seven countries. Here I'm just showing you the location. We look at the countries in detail a little later. So now let's travel to Maldives. And now let us travel to Indonesia. And I will also give you memory tricks for remembering the names of the countries from where the equator passes. Now let us also travel to Kiribati. This is Indonesia and now let us travel to Kiribati. So this is Kiribati. So let us start from South America. Here we will use a memory trick ECB or external commercial borrowings. So this country is Ecuador, this country is Colombia and this country is Brazil. So E for Ecuador, C for Colombia and B for Brazil. Now let's travel to Africa. So here the equator passes through seven countries and we can use a memory trick SSD or solid state drive, graphics card and United Kingdom. I'm sure all the techies would be aware of these terms. So now let us look at the names of the country. So this country that you see here is Sao Tome and Principe. This country is Gabon. This country is Congo. This is Democratic Republic of Congo. This is Uganda. This is Kenya and this is Somalia. So this is S for Sao Tome and Principe, Somalia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Gabon, Congo, Uganda and Kenya. So now let us travel to Maldives. So this country that you see here, this is Maldives and now let us travel to Indonesia. So in Indonesia, remember that the equator passes through Sumatra and Borneo or Kalimantan, but it does not pass through Java. This island that you see here is Java. And now let's travel to Kiribati. So this is Kiribati. So let us look at this question from 2006. So the answer is Colombia, Kenya and Indonesia. We have just seen this. So the equator passes through these three countries. So look at this question from the year 2008, which one of the following cities is nearest to the equator? So can you guess for a while? So the answer is Singapore and I, and I will just show it to you on the map. So look at this, this is Singapore. So Singapore is located very close to equator, whereas all the given options were very far from equator. I will also show it to you on a larger map. So this is Singapore and one very important thing to remember is that it is separated from Malaysia by Johar Strait. So this is the Johar Strait. It can be a question any time in the exam. And also look at this question from 1997. So the continent that occupies the largest area in the equatorial, equatorial belt is Africa. So thank you for watching this video. And if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my channel Kami Sado.